Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see uh, how to solve a simple pendulum problem. Um, and in this problem, uh, what we have is an object of mass m, given mass m, attached to the end of a rod of length l, length l is given, uh, that is going to oscillate in simple harmonic motion when it's displaced from the equilibrium position by an angle theta. So we know the angle theta, we know the acceleration due to gravity, and we need to calculate the magnitude of the restoring force and the tension in the rod. So let's go ahead and start with a um, free body diagram over here to see what are the forces applied on the object. So first of all, we are going to have the force of gravity, which we know it's vertically down, it's always vertically down. There we go. Label it mg. And then we have the tension uh, that's a pull on the object because of the rod. So let's just go along the rod with a pull and label that tension. Now, in order to be able to see what, uh, what's the restoring force here, uh, we are going to have to resolve the force of gravity. We have the x-axis here that is tangent to the curved path that the object takes as it moves in simple harmonic motion. And we have the y-axis here perpendicular to that. Uh, so therefore, we need to resolve mg with respect to the x and the y-axis. Let's carefully do that by drawing perpendiculars from its arrow to the two axes. One of them will go this way the other one this way, again perpendiculars, always perpendiculars, there we go. So maybe this one is a little bit off, one more time here, there we go, better. Okay, so mg is now resolved into two components, one of them is along the y-axis going this way, the other one is along the x-axis going this way. So now let's go ahead and label these two components according to uh, what we see here. So um, this angle here, theta, that's given will be the same as this angle here, theta. So therefore, this component being the adjacent will have to be mg cosine theta. And this component here, which is the same as this component here, is the opposite, so will have to be mg sine theta. Uh, and now we're going to have to do a magnitude check. So magnitude check means to remember that this object is accelerating in a simple harmonic motion. So at, when it's at this point, it's going to have to accelerate this way, all the way till the maximum point on the opposite direction when it's going to have to accelerate backwards. So this is the way this simple pendulum will move. So therefore, uh, the only net unbalanced force should be the one going along the x-axis, which it is because that's the only force we have, mg sine theta. The other two forces, t and mg cosine theta, they must balance because there is no acceleration going in that direction. So let's check their magnitudes to see if they balance. Well, tension is 4 centimeters and mg sine theta is 3.7 centimeters. Uh, 4 is not equal to 3.7, so the easiest fix here is to make tension just a little bit shorter by those 3 millimeters. Yeah, so now we have 3.6 there, so there we go. Tension and mg cosine theta are now balanced, therefore the magnitude check has been performed. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what they want us to calculate. Well, they want me to, to determine that restoring force. Well, if you remember from your PowerPoint lecture slides, the restoring force is going to be the force that will help the bob, this object of mass m, come back to its original position that will force, into, force it into coming back. It's restoring it. So in this case, it's going to have to be mg sine theta. So therefore, under equations, There we go, equations. 
We are going to look at X and Y forces. And uh, we are going to pick our positive direction. Well, it makes sense to pick it this way because it's the only force, right? And for the Y, we can pick it either way. Let's just go with that. So we are going to have, for the X, we are going to have the restoring force FR equals mg sine theta, and according to my choice of to my choice of uh, positive will be positive, and for the y forces uh, we are going to uh, remember that these two must be balanced. So F net y equals zero, which means we have a positive force there add it to a negative force here that has to be equal to zero. So um, here we already have the answer to the first question. Fr in magnitude will be mg sine theta. M and G and theta are given, so circle this. And now for the second question is calculate the tension. Obviously, we'll calculate it from this other side of the equations column here, or table here, which means once I simplify this, I'm going to have T minus mg cosine theta equals zero, which means T is going to be equal to mg cosine theta. Circle that because it is given. So as you can see, the length of the pendulum we have not used in this problem. We are going to solve this uh, a problem similar to this, looking at the motion of the pendulum with respect to energy, and that's when L will come into the picture, but that's for the next problem to solve. Thank you.